those six rabbits over in the 55 gallon drum, catch their droppings, and decant the stuff off and run it through strawberries. And you can raise 200 feet of hanging strawberries off the six rabbits. You don't have to fertilize them. All you have to do is water the rabbits and keep the tank filled. There are so many neat ways to use stuff that's almost junk to make farming techniques that are intensive and don't require soil preparation. As a responsible person with growing concerns for your privacy and personal liberty, you want to know where we're headed and what you can do about it. We ask the experts what you need to do to take prudent and responsible action to safeguard your family's wealth and well-being and what basic first steps will help you to be aware and prepared. ReluctantPreppers.com What do you do for uh, low-cost food production, for example? There's a lot of very, very well-respected and resourced ideas on how to really improve farm productivity. Protein, again, goes to my big issue. I live two miles north of the largest rice field in the Caribbean. I'm not worried about carbs. Okay? I will always have carbs. I will always be able to trade rabbits and tilapia for the rice. So I'm not doing any carb production in any form except potatoes because I like potatoes and I have a wonderful field for <laughs> potatoes and they grow well there. And yams, okay? So uh, those are my only carbs I will grow. You know, I have, am putting in 300 pair of rabbits across the back of 120 feet of containers, eight feet tall. All of their droppings are dropping into two foot deep concrete tanks that are drained for vermiculture to raise worms. Vermiculture. Oh my gosh, you can't raise protein faster than you can with a worm. <laughs> you can't compost faster. And somebody's out there with a compost pile making compost in 25 days. I can make the same compost in three days in the nitrogen contents there. And I end up with worms, I can throw it on my chickens or my fish, you know, or throw in my garden and improve my soil productivity. Worms will compost a pile of compost in three days that could take 25 days if you're turning it with water as we all do compost. And then I have all of those worms to go over and throw in my tilapia tanks. And now I'm raising fish. I also can raise the giant prawn. They'll take all of the food that the fish drop and never touch because tilapia, if they don't surface feed, won't go look in the bottom. Okay, so now you can put 10% by weight per on. So now I got certain turf going here, right? Okay, I mean, the growth time on tilapia aquaponics is almost half of soil growth. That's how fast the plants grow. It's just freaky how fast it grows. We're starting a, a business in our community to make floating fish pellets because there's 17 other growers in Haiti. And so by being able to uh, grow moringa, cassava, and a sorghum with a little goat's blood and offal from animals, I can make a floating fish pellet that I can give to my fish, but I also now have a sale product that buys product from the Haitians in my community and distributes it for money out to 17 growers that are currently buying Purina. And they're waiting for me to get that system fully up and operational because Purina's gone GMO and I'm all organic and their fish are doing poorly on genetically modified. And now, all of that sludge that's being produced from dropping all that stuff in that tanks, I'm pumping out into to aquaponics. And now, I can raise vegetables and fruits like strawberries and things like that that you can't usually grow in Haiti because I've got a shade net system up and I'm growing my moringa, which gives me a 50% shade. So all of my stuff is being grown underneath a high canopy of thin trees and all the trees are all productive. The entire line down one side is all bamboo. I can replace all my hydraulic piping, not neatly, but I can do it, okay? I've got all my structural support, all my scaffolding, you know, anything to make shade systems using banana leaves. Um, you know, that's why I was telling you earlier about Echo and the things that you can learn from visiting Echo at Fort Myers. These people teach you how to do rooftop gardening, urban gardening. We were talking about you get 200 feet of old down, not down, uh, gutter, okay? And you put it at an 80 to 1 grade and put six rabbits over it in a 55 gallon drum, catch their droppings, and decant the stuff off and run it through strawberries. And you can raise 200 feet of hanging strawberries off of six rabbits. You don't have to fertilize them. All you have to do is water the rabbits and keep the tank filled. 
there's so many neat ways to use stuff that's almost junk to make farming techniques that are intensive and don't require soil preparation.